hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back to watch another video and if you're a new subscriber thank you so much for deciding to subscribe to this channel my name is Akira Budo Mistress and I'm a beauty artist and photographer and I'm based in Ghana West Africa and um, yeah welcome to my channel well today's video is going to be in two parts the very first part is going to talk about what inspired this video and the second part is going to be the practical aspects of this video okay so this video was inspired by two of my clients, two of my very beautiful clients. Now the very first person had an issue with styling her wig and in the second part I just wanted to have a video on how to just ma uh, manage and maintain her wigs basically. And so yeah, if this sounds fun and interesting to you and I think you might need it, if you own a wig, if you own any type of wig, you should definitely watch this video. So yeah, you and um, please pardon me. I'm still recovering from a uh, cold. I might cough, uh, you know, during the video, or I might sound a bit, you know, crappy. I wouldn't say crappy, but like my voice might sound some way. So please, um, I apologize in advance if it irritates you or something. I don't know. So yeah. So before we start this video, I just want to say that um, this thing here. This thing here it moves around a lot so we can just ignore that for now and focus on the content thank you um so what i want to say is that um if you have no idea when it comes to wigs hair bundles frontals closures i have um a specific video designed to tackle you know all your concerns your questions and anything that you want to know concerning frontals and closures so i want to link the video up here so that you guys can go and check that out if you're a beginner like a total beginner okay okay so the very first thing i want to say is that um if you have a wig um definitely you should know that um the price of the wig determines the quality of the wig i mean that's just the first thing that you should know if you you are getting a wig the price of the wig will determine the quality of the wig i mean i think that is self-explanatory so that video will draw more light on that and then the second thing is that um you should know that every wig, like every hair, has a lifespan. The fact that it's a wig as is going to last you, like, like for the rest of your life. You know, every wig has a lifespan. So, I think she asked the seller or the person that you're buying the wig from the vendor the lifespan of the wig that you're getting, so that you know that when the wig hits its lifespan, then that is it. There's nothing you can do about it. Okay so the lifespan of the wig is very important so ask whoever you're buying the wig from how long the wig can last okay and then the very um the next point is um if you own a wig then you should have some basic tools and materials to help you maintain your wigs because um when wigs come in straight and then they are manipulated to form curls after a period of time the curls will fall so imagine if you're going to buy a street hair and you've sent somebody to make a for you or you sent it to your hairstylist to uh, make a wig for you and then the street hair was curled you should know that after a period of time the, um, the curl will drop it's just normal for the curl for the curls to drop but sometimes the quality of the wig will also determine how long the curls stay do you get it so um, if you want to have continuous curls with your straight hair then you should you should definitely get a curling one to curl the hair regularly because the hair didn't come from the factory curl you know they are um, in, um you know they are you know there are instances where the um, curls were made in a factory like they were steam curled so the curls will last a bit longer than when you actually like curl it yourself with the curling one so yeah i think you should also have that in mind and um this next point some some may argue with me that um if you want to go in for a straight hair go in for a straight hair if you want to go in for a curly hair go in for a curly hair don't i mean it's you guys i'm not feeling it too well so i might break within the video to just go cough or do something and then come back and come in from so and pardon me if you see some jump cuts in the video okay um so um what i was saying is that if you want to get straight hair you get a straight hair you work it for some time and then if you want to curl it or color it or whatever you do with it but you want to get a straight hair you 
curl it into a deep um, way you curl it to ocean curl you can like different different but at the end of the day the kind of manipulation the kind of manipulation that you're doing to the hair or the wig will also kind of shorten the lifespan of the way because you are, um, you are making the hair go through a lot of stress so if it's a deep curl that you want to go in for that if it's a straight hair that you want to go in for that but knows that if you're on a budget and you want to have different different styles then the lifespan of the hair or the wig is going to be shorter than expected so yeah i hope i'm making some sense so it brings me to the same point where you have to get some basic tools and materials to maintain your work now this is what inspired this video i had one of my clients and um, one of my very very like people clients and she got away from me and then um the wig didn't like the wig i started away the wig was straight and the hair bundles came in straight and the hair was curled so in it, as i said initially when the hair comes from the factory and it is straight and you do any sort of manipulation to it after a period of time the hair the curled hair is going to drop is going to drop like basically all right so as i was saying um i had a client i posted a, um, a video a picture of one of my hair she was interested she got it the wig was made style everything pictures taken so she had an idea of what the wig looked like so I shipped it to her, it was quite a distance. I shipped the wig to her. I shipped the wig to her and she hadn't braids then, so she had to wait for some time before um, she could wear the hair. So um, she took off the braids, she wore the wig and the wig didn't look like how it came. Not that it wasn't the same thing. She yeah so that was it and then she replied to one of my stories where i posted um, a similar wig and then she was like her wig that she, the wig that she got for me didn't look like that so the very first thing i asked there was the very first thing i asked there was um how does she maintain it what kind of tools and pr um, product that she has that she used to maintain her wigs so she said she had a blow dryer she had a straightener and then she had a brush so i asked there have you straightened the wig before she said never so obviously if you haven't straightened if you haven't straightened a straight wig that has a curled um, part before, definitely after some period of time, the hair will look as sleek as it came, and then the curls will drop. Okay, so if you have a similar wig that I'm going to show you in the next video, I think this is what you need to do to maintain it. Yes, yeah, so that is basically that. If you have any type of wig, just ask the vendor or the seller or anybody, you know, wherever you go the way, you can ask them how to maintain it so that if they come with certain product, you purchase those products and go home and maintain and manage the wig. Or you can ask you can ask the seller, what do I need to do to maintain the wig? I like how people, you know, ask even even ask before they purchase the wig so that they know how to go about it because i remember i had one client um she got one fiber wig for me and then after some period of time she came back and she said that the hair had had it hung sorry <laughs> i feel like i want to cough so i had a similar experience with one of my clients she actually got a fiber wig for me and then she came back to complain to me that her hair had tangled so at the very first night i asked her that how does she take care of the hair initially i told her to get some sort of oil or some and, some, and a brush so i asked her if she had those things she said no she had not gotten those things yet so so um realistically so realistically the wig will detangle because you're not going through the process that you're supposed to go through to maintain the wig so yeah whenever you get a, whenever you get hair or wig be sure to ask the seller or the vendor how to take care of the wig because if you don't score according to how the hair is treated you're going to mess up the hair okay you're going to mess up the hair and at the end of the day you can if you start blaming the vendor or the person who makes the wig so yeah that is one thing that you have to 
we have to put in mind. There was one thing that you're supposed to note when you're going to make a wig or when you're buying hair or when you're buying hair products is the fact that prices range, okay? Now the change or the differences in price range depend on the expenses that the vendor, the seller had to go through in order to bring the hair to you as a customer, okay? So if the person is the person, uh, the store is in East Legon, the person is paying utilities, rents, whatever, 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 shipping and everything. Obviously, the price of the products, the hair, the tip is going to be expensive than somebody who probably lives, um, like probably does a thing in a small, like store, like in a store at Makola, where the person, okay, let's say in a store at Makola, where the person sells in wholesale and, you know, those kind of things so um, also note that some of these factors like as I mentioned earlier also determines the price of certain products to use and you know materials so yeah so yes guys this is going to be the end of this you know the talking part of this video I went to go into the practical aspect where I style the hair that the clients was like it looked different from what I said to her so um yeah i'm gonna show you everything from when i opened the packaging to when i style the wig and everything so i don't know if there's going to be a voiceover but if there's no there's no voiceover then it's it's literally self-explanatory so you guys can watch and understand i keep coughing i keep coughing so i'll try my best if there should be a voiceover i'll try my best I'll try my best and do that. I'm still recovering, so I'd have to take my time and do things, otherwise, I'm going to mess things up. Okay, um, so that's all about it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and families, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. And oh, I have a very, I have a very special video on this hair. This hair that I'm wearing is not a frontal. No, it's not a frontal. It's a closure, not five by five or six by six. It's a four by four closure. So there's going to be a review on this wig very very soon. So please subscribe to this channel and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss any upload. So yeah, I'll see you very soon in my next video. So the next part is going to be the styling wig. So stay stay.